Okay, folks, this video is in preparation for assignment two. It is going to give you um, an overview of conventional soil pedon descriptions and site descriptions. The focus of the presentation, again, is to prepare you and to give you some exposure to different soil profiles and horizons, to become familiar with soil pedon description conventions and formatting, and an overview of a site description. Here's an example of a soil profile that I've shown you in class before. You may wonder why there are these golf tees. Soil scientists use little pencils or golf tees or something to differentiate the different soil horizons. This is my best guess. Here's another soil pit that I dug at uh, the BCIT woodlot. This is a podzolic soil. Notice that I separate, there's a, the different horizons here. Above here was the LFH. Here's an AH horizon, so it's enriched with a lot of humus. A very wavy horizon boundary leading into a B horizon, a BF of sorts, so it was enriched with iron oxides. And then further down, a C horizon. Here's a soil in the Kamloops area, a turnozemic soil um, that developed under grasslands. Um, when you are differentiating the different horizons and the thickness from a conventions perspective, you always start at the zero at the top of the mineral horizon. So anything above that is the LFH. So in this case, I would write in my notes that the A horizon was from zero to 35 in depth, then from 35 to 65 centimeters in depth was the B, and 65 plus was the C. So here's what that looks like. So this is a different soil pit, but the same idea. So the top horizon is an organic horizon, like LFH. You would write seven and a half to zero depth and thickness. The A horizon starts at the top of the mineral, so zero to 10. And you have a couple of B horizons in this case. And C is the 61 plus in depth. Now, all this gibberish here, these descriptions, this conventional Canadian Sigma Soil Classification descriptions, the following two videos will walk you through what is all this stuff, and this is the kind of information you're going to gather in the field. This is another example of a profile description by Dan Pennock, a professor at the University of Saskatchewan. This is a dark brown, chernozemic soil, also developed under um, grassland conditions in the prairies, probably Saskatchewan. Notice the different horizons and the modifiers associated with the ABC. Um, he drawed out the horizon boundaries and they're not always perfectly horizontal. There's a lot of uh, waviness or abruptness and changing. Sometimes they're very gradual between the horizons. And again, the same sort of convention is used here. So this would be a really nice way, a good formatting system that I'd like you to use with what you're doing in the field. Now when you're in the field, it's one thing to dig the soil pit and to look at all the details, but you also need to look at the surrounding stand and record some information about that site. So imagine that your soil pit is at the center of a 20 meter by 20 meter square plot. So a 20, you're surrounded by a 20 by 20 meter area. I want you to describe and record the characteristics of that area. So for instance, what is the location? Where are you? Are you on BCIT campus? Are you in Burnaby? Are you in Maple Ridge? What is the latitude and longitude if you have that information? Are you alongside a trail? What is the aspect and the slope of the area that you're at? Is it fairly flat perhaps and very minimal slope, but what's the general aspect? So which direction is it facing? North, east, south, west, etc. You'll need a compass and a clinometer for this. What's the general type of vegetation that you're surrounded by? Is it a coniferous forest, a deciduous forest? Perhaps you're in a clear cut or an open area. Perhaps you're in a park. What are the dominant plant species? I'd like to see the Latin common name. This is good practice for you and also provide any relevant notes on site disturbance history. You may need to talk to Kelly and I about this. What, was there any evidence of wind throw or fire? Is there any evidence of human um, altered landscapes? So in summary, this is the sort of thing that you need to prepare for in the field. 
on September 22nd. I gave you some exposure to different soul profiles and horizons, and an overview of the, my expectations about a soil pedon description formatting, and some of the conventions like depth. Also an overview of how to write a site description.